Okay, so I apologize um, for the single shot for this rant right here about Onision, but you know what? I I can't believe that he would actually fucking stoop to this goddamn low. So on his fucking Twitter right now, and there was a status that he, that he says, drugs are for losers and old people. Old people have nothing to live for, are old and have nothing to live for, so who gives a fuck? And But losers are idiots and are wasting away their life. But you know what, Greg? Here's the fucking goddamn thing. What if the people who take these certain types of drugs have, oh, I don't know, medical issues? Huh? Like, what if they had to take the, like, pills or medicine for depression, for anxiety disorder, or, yeah, like, like, for, like, for any random reason? D does that make them losers too? Huh? Does that fucking make them losers? I want to know. Do, do, but honestly, does that make them fucking losers if they have to take medication because, you know, it helps cope with depression or anxiety or whatever? I have a fucking heart condition. I was born with a hole in my heart. If I had to take medication to probably keep me alive, does that make me a loser too, you scumbag? I, I, this is why this is why I hate him, guys. This is why I fucking hate him because he makes a stupid rant, he makes a stupid post, and fucking people follow him. And they like him to the ends of the fucking earth. And also another stupid thing that he posts too: say what you want, don't let anyone hold you back. But uh, unless you're, uh, uh, but then here, here I'm thinking: unless you're a meat eater, unless you believe in God, unless you have, unless you believe in circumcision, and also believe that you also have slept with four different people, and also, and also, say what you want, unless it's agree, unless you have a, unless you disagree with me, then I will block you, call you a troll, because I don't want anyone who disagrees with me. I want only my fans to fucking agree with me. I only want people who agree with me. That's basically how, how Greg is. Because he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't believe in fucking criticism. Because a, no, he he said in a fucking video that no one likes ever criticism. Greg, you are so fucking wrong. It's unbelievable. Hello, criticism, is there is in the world because it helps people fucking get, grow and get better at their fucking work. If I, let's say, make a na film narrative, and um. I watch it and no one gives me criticism. I'm not gonna figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong. But if someone comes up to me, watches my narrative, f sees the, some faults in it, they will point it out to me and I will fucking listen and write it down. That's what we had to do in film, film school. Something that you will never fucking understand. You're not a comedian. You're not a filmmaker. You're nothing. You're a stupid idiot. And if you look at the fucking YouTube, since you are on YouTube, you're not a comedian. You're not an actor so stop saying that you are actors have to go through freaking actors have to go through so much you don't do anything all you do is basically put up a camera put up a little filter and edit on your stupid computer that is what you do you're not a comedian you're nothing okay you are nowhere near a comedian's high standards ha <laughs> ha you you're not a comedian in general okay you're a scumbag narcissistic douchebag who bashes everyone you bash rape people victims of rape abuse night night the 911 victims um people who have to take medication like the old people and people who actually need it so you know what, Greg? Mmm, to you, you piece of shit. Unbelievable. My God, I cannot. I, I seriously cannot believe he believes this type of shit. But then again, this guy has the mentality of a fucking. This guy believes that seventeen is not underage. This proves that he's a pedophile. So you know what, Greg? Fuck you. Grow the fuck up. I, I don't know why I keep saying grow the fuck up because you you never will. It's like beating a dead horse. Because you will never grow up. And it's sad too to think that 
there are people, and it's, there are people younger than you who are more mature than you. And that is freaking sad. Really freaking sad. I feel freaking sorry for your unborn child, yeah. Because he is going to have to live, gr live with you as a father. God knows what you're going to put him through. Making him believe all that bullshit. God have mercy on our souls. <sighs> so you know what? Tonight, I'm done. It's 12.52. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. So you know what? Peace. The crazy pain. I I'm crazy pain 93. I'll see you later with another video for coming soon. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Alright, peace. Bye. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And Greg, seriously dude, it's time for some growing up. Alright, goodbye.